The little stone structure at the top of the island is a tea house. tea house. The people who built the Vikings home, they came over there and they built that so that whenever guests came, they would go over there for a spot of tea. Now it's getting windy. through that, but I'm not sure if they do that anymore. See the road is up there. There's a place up there where you can park and then hike down here. Nice little asphalt trail all the way down here. After picnic lunch on the beach. And like I say, they used to have tours through that. I don't know if they're closed for the season or what the deal is, but uh, that was built. Somebody actually lived there. And since then, I think it's been deeded over to the state, and I think it's a, a <laughs> landmark, a history site now. It's above the roadway to stabilize the earth and prevent that from happening again. Trees and brush taken off all over the slide area. It'll be a couple hundred years before the area looks anything like it used to. One day in time, it will. The trees are incredibly tenacious. They come back again and again after slides and fires. They can find soil. They will take root. That's Highway 89 up there, and they're used to. One, once upon a time, there was a landslide and took the road right out. And then they rebuilt the road. That goes up along the top of the ridge, and then it squirrelies around and back Hard over. Hard to imagine a more prominent example to of South Lake Tahoe. Trees Isn't that Dead cool? Island, as I said, this is the entrance, full of trees. Back one of the little bone out side into trees the lake, right just the, on the, the other island. side of the very island. Very short tree has a very twisted trunk. There's another strange little tree growing out. You don't of the see places like this in the world very often. Forms the small inlet in the island. There's also two very small ones growing from the triangle-shaped rock that comes just after the inlet. You can see one there growing out of diagonal cut on the bottom of the rock. There's another one at the top of the rock, a 90 degree crook in its trunk. Those little trees are a couple hundred years old. And as we go by the last quarter of the island, we have all kinds of these little bonsai trees over here. Some of the trees over here look like nothing more than a stick or a branch. Some of them look like perfectly normal trees. They're just very small. Only a few feet high. You look closely as we go by, and you're going to notice that they all grow right out of the rock. Beautiful little trees. This is truly nature at its best here. It doesn't seem like we're in the wind at all now. Don't get windy well, again. I hope you enjoy the beautiful scenery out there of Emerald Bay. And That's Emerald Bay. Our recording there. 
on our this way back I'm out. This time we're going to be playing a movie downstairs on the first and second deck as I mentioned earlier. To South Lake this Tahoe. This will give you a little bit more insight right to tell about that the rest opening. of the lake. This is the rest of the lake. Video and audio down there. That's awesome. And, uh, some of you may have already known, we do have limited seating down there. Nice and warm right here. Miles of miles of hundreds of millions of dollars from destination over here. We've had a good time out here. Just dress warmly and be be prepared for anything out here. See now, man, I'm getting a sunburn out here. Flag's hardly hardly waving at all right now. I would have thought it'd been windier out in the middle of the lake, but it was windier inside Emerald Bay because the 
winds just kind of scoop down from the mountains there, I guess. Just be ready and have a good time. Well, home sweet home, we're back at the marina. It's time to get off. Fly that baby. Home of the Golden Arches. Lake Tahoe is of the Golden State and the California Golden Bear and the whole bit. And one more thing, you know, where the water goes, most of that water, some of it goes to Pyramid Lake. I was trying to remember where the water went. And the majority of it goes and feeds California. And it goes through the aqueduct and goes up to Southern California. And Northern California gets a lot of that water too. So that water travels a long ways. So the next time you get ready to use your water faucet tap and all that make sure and remember to be good to your environment and to save that water 